Hi, this is Ritesh. In this video, we're going to learn how to build a REST-based API that can connect to SQL Server using Yulesoft. All the required resources for this project can be found in the description below. Let's start by validating the data source. I've created a database called MuleDB, and under that database, I've created a table called Items. I've also written a SQL statement to extract the data from this table, like so. Next step is to create our new application. I'm going to call this application as API SQL. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit finish. Anypoint Studio is going to create this project for me in the background. Load it up. Given this is a REST based API, you want to start by having a HTTP listener. I'm going to drag my listener and load it onto my center panel. Next step is to configure my HTTP endpoint listener. I'm going to change my host to local host and I'm going to give it a base path called API. Once you're done, click OK. Next step is to give your API endpoint a um, name. I'm going to call this as items. And what I'm going to do with this API is retrieve the data that's stored in the database against the items table. Next, you want to be able to connect the database to retrieve the data from the database. For this, we'll head to the mule palette and look for a database connector. As you can see, I don't have a database connector readily available. So I'm going to make use of the search in palette text box and type in database. This has provided me with several options. Since I'm going to retrieve data, I'm going to choose the select. But before you choose select, you can actually right click and add this to favorites. So next time you don't have to repeat the same process. If I go to my favorites, I now have my select. I'm going to drag the select and add it to my existing meal flow. The next step is to configure my database connector. For this, let's head down to connector configuration and add a new one. Here, the first thing you want to do is choose the type of connection. You can do so by clicking on the drop down and selecting Microsoft SQL Server connection as this is connecting to a Microsoft SQL Server. You can use the same process to connect to other databases by choosing the appropriate connection type in the drop down. Next step is to configure Microsoft SQL Server driver. You can locate the JDBC driver on the following page. I will post the URL to this page in the description below. Click on the link that says download Microsoft JDBC driver 8.2 for SQL Server. Once your download is complete, extract the contents of your zip file onto a local folder. Once you've extracted the JDBC jar file onto your local folder, click on configure, choose use local file, Browse to the location where you have extracted the SQL JDBC 42.jar file and load the file into the configuration like so. Once done, click OK. You'll see the red exclamation is now turned to a green tick box. Next steps is to configure a connection. Since this is a local host, I'm going to type in local host for my host. going to use username that I've pre-configured. Let's make sure that your user has access to the appropriate database. This is the password for that user. And finally, the database name. I'll call my database MuleDB. You want to make sure that it's working. So click on test connection. Okay, now that we have a successful test, let's click on OK. And click on OK. Now that we're done connecting to a database, we need to transform the output from the database into an appropriate um, API response in a JSON format. For this, I'm going to use the transform message component. 
Let's head to the mule palette and locate this. Once you locate it, drag and drop it into your mule flow, like so. Okay, by default the transform message is always going to output a Java object, but I want JSON response for my API. So I'm going to change Java to JSON. Once you've done that, let's convert the payload into an appropriate JSON format. In here, I'm going to map the fields from the database result to my JSON object. First element is ID. You will notice that if I um, click on the dot, you'll see the IntelliSense. Um, I can pick the appropriate database field. Next, I'm going to type in name and do the same. Alright, so now I've completed my transformation. The last part of building this API is to set the appropriate payload. We'll do that by dragging the set payload component from my mule palette onto my mule flow. Okay, so this is how you build a REST API to connect to a database and transform that data from the database into a JSON formatted response. I'm going to go ahead and compile and deploy this application. Click on save. So now that we've successfully compiled and deployed our application, let's go ahead and test it. In order to test my API, I'm going to use Postman. I'm going to create a new tab and paste the URL to my new API. Make sure it's using the get method and then I'm going to click on send. This is how you build a REST based API to connect to a database extract data and convert it into the appropriate JSON response. Thanks for watching and please join me in my next video to learn more on how to use MuleSoft.